that magic day has arrived. A major studio wants to buy the film rights to your book. Congratulations. Now the first thing you must realize is that people in Hollywood are insane. It's probably something in the water. Oh wow, love ya, that's too much. The following is the correct procedure when selling movie rights. One, go to the state line. Do not touch California. Two, have the studio reps throw you the money. Three, throw them the manuscript. Four, boil money for 15 minutes. Money should not be safe to touch. Have nothing else to do with the film. And now a peculiar thing happens. Even though your book was bought because they liked the story, it will be rewritten. This cannot be stopped. First by the screenwriter, who puts it into script form, punching it up a bit while they're at it. Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, girl explodes. Here are a few of the reasons it might be rewritten. Casting department. We can get Sigourney Weaver for this, but we need a part for a female lead. No problem. Rewrite. Special effects department. I've just figured out how to show a cabbage patch doll mutilating a herd of cattle. What pathos. Rewrite. Advertising department. The road warrior look is in. Everyone in chains and leather so we can pen the posters. Trey Chic, rewrite! Also to this list, we can add the producer, the producer's girlfriend, the studio, the lawyers, script doctors, agents, camera directors, choreographers, fight masters, animal trainers, script girls, best boys, grips, caterer, caterer to the caterer, caterer's mom, etc., etc., etc. Get the idea? Then, the picture is actually made. This is where the director makes his presence felt. He is responsible for what you, the viewer, see on the screen. Rope lights on! Dancers, take your mark! Sigourney, wave your flippers, and roll them! I, robot, take 47. Oh, Father, spare the Earth Man. I love him. Around this time, the author would begin to hear rumors about the production. Say, Harlan, when did you put in the giant mutant devil rabbits? Ignore them. The studio will try to talk to you about special tie-ins. But Frank, baby, Alan Dean Foster does all of our novelizations. Ignore them. Ads will appear. People call him unfeeling. All he ever wanted was a hand. Now he's going for the gold, and no one's gonna call him Nefty anymore. Lord Fowl's Bane, starring B.B. Herman as Thomas Covenant, Nicky Rudy as Lord Fowl. Ignore them. Finally, inevitably, the movie will be done, and you'll be invited to the preview. You can't ignore this, but someday you may be able to forget it. And finally, worst of all, you'll have to deal with the fans. No, really, I like the movie much better than the book. Kill them.